Hey guys, I'm back, welcome back to the channel. Everyone's favourite event of the year, the Oscars, has happened. You bet I stayed up till half two in the morning to watch these. And, you know, I, I, I would say that, like, it was fine. I didn't see the whole thing, but it was a pretty solid award show overall. Um, you know, I, I haven't, I, I haven't seen any of the other recent ones, but it was, you know, it was, it was pretty, uh, it was pretty good. But, but, you know, most importantly, we obviously got the winners for all of the nominees. So in today's video, I'm just gonna be going through them and I'm gonna give my opinions on them. And it's just gonna be that. I could have made this video yesterday, the day after the Oscars, but obviously that's when my Dune ranking came out, so we're doing it now. Anyways, let's just begin with this video. So, actor in a leading role, the winner was Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer, which doesn't surprise me, very well deserved. He gave an, an absolutely fantastic performance in that film, and he definitely deserved that Oscar, so, you know, th this is just going to be the whole video, me going through them and either going, well, you know, d d definitely deserved that, or just me going, you know, I, I, I disagree with that, but, you know. Here we go. So yes, 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 yeah. Killian Murphy, uh, you know, really fantastic in Oppenheimer. Definitely really deserved that. And actor in a supporting role, I was extremely happy Robert Downey Jr. run this, run this, sorry, won this, you know, for Oppenheimer. And especially considering all the nominations he'd gotten in the past and this being his first win is just really cool. And I'm, I'm really glad that he won. And I, I remember when, when, Oppenheimer, when Oppenheimer came out, everyone was just saying Robert Downey Jr. is going to win the Oscar for this performance. He's absolutely fantastic in Oppenheimer, like Killian Murphy. And it is really great to see that he won this Oscar. Definitely another one where it was very well deserved. Action, a leading role, win. Emma Stone, Poor Things. I haven't seen Poor Things. It was very popular at the Oscars alongside Oppenheimer. Obviously, Oppenheimer got seven awards to the surprise of nobody. And I haven't seen Poor Things, so I can't really say much about that. Actress in a supporting role is Davine Joy Randolph, or however you say that, for The Holdovers. And I also have not seen The Holdovers, so I can't really give an opinion on that. Animated feature film. The winner was The Boy and the Heron. And, you know, I'm a bit surprised Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse didn't win. I feel like people, you know, are going to be a bit angry at that. I haven't really, like, like looked at, looked up uh, much of people's reactions, but, I, I you know, I feel like people people, you know, probably aren't too happy about that, but, you know, we'll, we'll just, we'll, we'll have to see, uh, you know, again, I don't know what people have been saying about it, because I haven't really looked anything up, but, you know, The Boy and the Heron won, I haven't seen The Boy and the Heron, but Spider-Man Across Spider-Verse was so acclaimed, it's really surprising that it didn't win, and it'd be really cool if it did win, because then both Spider-Man Into Spider-Verse and Spider-Man Across Spider-Verse would have won Best Animated Picture Oscars, which would be so cool, but, you know, at least this one got nominated, and, you know, like, obviously, I, you know, I, I say I kind of assumed. I wouldn't have been surprised if it did win. At the same time, I haven't seen any of the others, so, you know, I, I can't really say much about it. But Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, you know, I feel like a lot of people will consider that one to be a snub in terms of the winners. And, you know, like, like they'll be, uh, you know, a bit annoyed that, that that one didn't win. Cinematography, Oppenheimer also won this one. How do you say that? Like, Hoyt Van Hoytema, Tem, I probably said that wrong. Uh, yeah, Oppenheimer looks fantastic. Fantastic. The cinematography is great, and it's it's definitely you know an another one that I think was really well deserved. Uh, but again, I haven't seen any of the others, so I wouldn't know. But you know, I will say that Oppenheimer looks really good, and I am glad that it won. And so that's best cinematography, Oppenheimer. Costume design once again, poor things. Holly Waddington. Yeah, with Poor Things, the, the stuff that it won, I wasn't surprised because from what I've seen of Poor Things, it looks like a very well-produced movie in terms of the, the costumes and set design and hairstyling and makeup, which is everything that it won. So, you know, it's great to see that, that it did win all those things. And uh, yeah, but again, haven't seen Poor Things. But, you know, it, it's, it's great that it won costume design. And uh, yeah, we move on to directing now. Christopher Nolan obviously won for Oppenheimer, which is great. I mean, Oppenheimer is such a well-directed movie and I'm really, really, really glad that he won and you know it's, it's it's really great that he won the oscar for oppenheimer best directing and that's kind of all i have to say oppenheimer is a really well directed movie that's another award that oppenheimer won documentary feature film 20 days in mariupol i am really not surprised about this or you know however you say mariupol uh you know like like this really doesn't surprise me at the same time i haven't seen any of the other ones but with 20 days in mariupol it's it's such a it is just such an effective documentary and such an impactful one that, that it feels like it, it wins was kind of a no-brainer in a way um, but again I haven't seen any of the others so I can't really 
really say much about it. But yeah, it's I'm I'm really really glad that it won, and it was it was so impactful when the when the director was making his speech when he was saying all that stuff like he wished he didn't have to make it and like he kind of wishes he didn't win the award because of how how much of a difficult experience it was to make the the film and, and it, it just all makes so much sense and it you know it's, it's it was such an, an impactful speech everything he was saying documentary short 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 film documentary short film I haven't seen any of these but the winner was the last repair shop so there you go funny enough as they were about to announce the winner i was searching up the last repair shop and then they said the winner was the last repair shop uh, i just randomly searched it up on google uh you know and it won as i was doing that so that's cool film editing oppenheimer jennifer lame i don't have too much to say about this it's great that it won another award film editing international feature film the zone of interest was the winner yeah we have a uk film as the winner that sure is great but yeah you know I, I haven't seen the zone of interest so i can't really say much about that but you know a uk film won best international feature film i really cannot believe godzilla minus one didn't get, get didn't get nominated for this that really 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 annoys me and uh makeup and hairstyling poor things obviously won again and you know that's great music original score oppenheimer won which i am very 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 happy about really deserve that i really like the oppenheimer score can you hear the music is obviously an amazing song and you know it's <laughs> yeah it's, it's so great that it won the original score oscar the music score for music original song, Barbie won What Was I Made For by Billie Eilish. She gave a really great performance of the song in the award ceremony, as well as Ryan Gosling's, Ryan Gosling's performance of oh, I'm Just Ken. Both those were absolutely fantastic. This was the only Oscar that Barbie won, which was, you know, it, it was very popular in terms of the nominee, you know, the nominees in terms of uh, its nominations. But this is the only one that it actually won, which is quite interesting. I wouldn't say I'm like surprised at that, but at the same time, it's interesting considering how much of a popular film it was at the Oscars in terms of nominations. Best picture, what do you know, Oppenheimer won. I predicted this, everyone predicted this, absolutely no surprise here, Oppenheimer, it won best picture. And, you know, I haven't seen all of the Best Picture nominations here. I haven't seen most of them, as a matter of fact. But, like, you know, it's it's great to see that Oppenheimer won. But, obviously, I can't compare them to the other ones, or most of the other ones, because I haven't seen most of the other ones. But, yeah, Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer's Best Picture win feels like such a no-brainer. And, honestly, it's just, it's great to see that it did win Best Picture. Definitely deserved it. But, again, haven't seen any of the others. So, you know, I, 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 I'm I not saying that it definitely deserved it in comparison to the other ones. It's just a really, really, really good film. And it's great to see that it won. Production design. The winner was Poor Things. Again, won in one of those categories, which is great. Animated short film. The winner was War Is Over, inspired by the music of John and Yoko, which I have not seen. So, can't really give an opinion on that. Live action short film. The winner was The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar, which I haven't seen, so there you go. But, you know, Wes Anderson and Stephen Rails. Wes Anderson, that sure is interesting. Sound, The Zone of Interest won, which, you know, again, I haven't seen The Zone of Interest. I, you know, I, I, I wouldn't have been surprised if Oppenheimer won as well. That film has a great sound design. But again, haven't seen The Zone of Interest, so I can't really say much about it. But it's great to see that it won. Visual effects. This one had me cheering. Godzilla minus one. One? Godzilla minus one, one. Godzilla minus one, one. Best visual effects. Godzilla... Mo G G Sorry, guys. Godzilla minus one, one. That is so great, and it's, it's especially for a 50, $15 million budget, the film is just, it looks so great, and, you know, it's, like, like you know, th there are a couple moments, like, you know, like, very infrequently, like, one moment, maybe, but like, it does look, like, kind of CGI, like, you know, as in, it, it does, it does seem, it, it does look kind of obvious that it is CGI, but, like, to be honest, like, like, like the, those moments in the film are nowhere near as frequent as in, like, every other film that came out in 2023 that used CGI, and to be honest, that is actually just a minor nitpick in terms of visuals, because overall, the visuals are so fantastic in Godzilla Minus 1, and I'm so glad that it won the Oscar, and it absolutely deserved it, 
And, you know, I haven't seen Napoleon or the creator, but I have seen Guys of the Galaxy Volume 3 and Mission Impossible Direct in Part 1. And out of those three, Godzilla Minus One absolutely deserves it. And I'm so glad that it won the Oscar. Writing adapted screenplay was American Fiction, written for the screen by Cord Jefferson. Haven't seen American Fiction, but there you go. Best writing for original screenplay was Anatomy of a Fool, screenplay by Justin Trier, Trier and Arthur Harari. Harari, I, I probably said those wrong. You know, I'm really glad that won. I love the premise for Anatomy of a Fool, and it's great to see that it won the Best Original Screenplay Oscar. And there you go. Those are all of the Oscars for 2024. And that's kind of it for this video. They're my opinions on them. You know, thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to. Feel free to let me know in the comments below your opinions on all of these. And there you go. That is the 2024 Oscars, the 96th Academy Award. Sorry, the 96th Academy Awards. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye. I couldn't say bye-bye there. Bye-bye.